It's a pretty good bet this guy looks just like a murderer cops are searching for in Houston, Texas. Because Lois Gibson's pencil and pastel composite drawings are usually picture perfect, which is why she's hailed as the greatest forensic sketch artist in the world. She is a great artist, but she is an amazing person. Those two things together are what make her so special. Lois has helped Officer Kim Miller and the other cops at Houston PD arrest some 1,300 dangerous criminals with her drawings of alleged killers, sex offenders, kidnappers, and robbers, earning her a place in the Guinness record books. I'm built to do this work. That's all I can say. I always drew and I always wanted to draw faces. I was an artist that loved human faces. And the likeness to wanted criminals that Lois can produce just from descriptions by victims and witnesses is beyond uncanny. It's harder for me to walk across the street than to draw a face. But being a forensic sketch artist wasn't her first choice of a career. Lois always wanted to be in pictures, not just draw them. And at 21, she moved to Hollywood to be a model and actress, gracing the pages of numerous magazines, including Playboy until something unimaginable happened that would change the course of her life. While I was there, a pretty awful serial rapist, maybe killer, attacked me in my apartment. Lois thought he would kill her. He just started choking me. I was like, wow, I'm gonna die. She was lucky to escape with her life, but like many rape victims, Lois knew prosecuting a rapist could be difficult and traumatic. I didn't have me anymore. I was a bag of hate and anger and frustration. And the number one thing I wanted was justice. But darn, I couldn't get justice because I couldn't bring myself to tell the police. Are you kidding me? But it inspired Lois to use her drawing talents to help get justice for other crime victims. So she moved to Texas to become a forensic sketch artist with Houston PD. That's why I do what I do. Tell me a more important function than stopping people that are killing and raping and stabbing and shooting. But drawing is the easy part of her job. The hard part is getting crime victims to talk. To describe the person that represents horror to them, that's the last person they want to think about. So I talk them into a really good. They really open up to her. They tell her sometimes more information than I got. You know, things come back to them. And I've always felt what other people feel. And now that I have experienced almost being killed by a, a criminal, boy, I'm right in there with them. And I tell them almost immediately, someone tried to kill me too. Of all the cases Lois has helped solve, one has a special place in her heart and a constant reminder of it framed and hanging on the wall of her office. There was a little murdered baby girl. It turned out she was two years, three months old. The decomposed body of the unknown child, dubbed Baby Grace, had washed up on shore in a fisherman's tackle box. So if you're the detective and you have a dead baby, <laughs> you can't solve the case until you know that baby's name. So Lois went to the morgue to see if she could draw a reconstruction of what the child looked like from what little there was left to recognize. I could see she had blonde, truly blonde hair curly and wavy down in the middle of her back. So I drew the hair, cute face, and I was done in 45 minutes. Her picture was so accurate that three days later, the baby's grandmother recognized her from posters the police had distributed, and the child's mother and stepfather were convicted and sentenced to life in prison. In 45 minutes, I helped catch two murderers that thought they could kill a baby and, and hide it and get away with it. So. The work product on that was, was beautiful. Now at age 65 and still with Houston PD, Lois also is the author of several books and teaches classes for police officers and others interested in becoming forensic sketch artists. There's only 26 people doing this full time in the whole country. And so I'm trying to spread more forensic artists before I go to the big drawing board in the sky. But will there be any more sketches for her to draw up there? And you can add another arrest to Lois's list. Recently, a Korean opera singer was assaulted in Houston. Now, she didn't speak much English, but she was able to give Gibson a physical description. Less than one hour after the sketch was released, the suspect was arrested.